good morning dear children today we are taking the history chapter number 5 when people rebel so let's move to the chapter in this chapter you can learn about policies and the people persons and sepoys fight between the company and nawabs and rajas etc so from chapter 5 when people rebel you can master the concept of chapter by going through this video these video are beneficial for you to revise the entire chapter quickly just before the exam so shall we start children going through the chapter policies and the people nawabs lose their power nawabs and rajas lost their authority and power since the mid 18th century in order to protect their interest many ruling families tried to negotiate with the company rani lakshmi bai of chansi wanted the company to recognize her adopted son as their heir to kingdom after the death of her husband but the company turned down these pleas Agadh was one of the last territories to be annexed. In 1801, a subsidiary alliance was imposed on Agadh, and in 1856, it was taken over. The company planned to bring down the Mughal dynasty to an end. In 1849, Governor General Dalhousie announced that after death of Bahadur Shah Zafar. his family would be shifted out of red fort and given another place in delhi to reside in after bahadur shah zafar the last mughal king none of his descendants would be recognized as kings they would just be called princes the peasants and the sepoys peasants and zamindars from countryside resident the high court high taxes and the rigid methods of revenue collection many lost their lands as they failed to pay back their loans to the money lender the indian sepoys who were employees of company were unhappy about their pay allowances and condition of service when sepoys were told to go burma to fight the company via sea route they refused to go but agreed to go via land route The company passed a law in 1856 which started that every new person who took up employment in the company's army had to agree to serve overseas if required. Responses to reforms. The British reformed Indian society by passing law to stop the practice of sadi and to encourage the remarriage of widows. English education was widely promoted. After 1830, Christian missionaries were allowed to function freely in its domain and on land and property. A new law was passed in 1850 to convert into Christianity easier. The law allowed Indian Christians to inherit the property of an ancestors. A mutiny becomes a popular rebellion. A large number of people believed that they had a common enemy and rose up against the army at the same time. For such a situation, to develop people have to organize, communicate, take initiative and display the confidence to turn the situation around. In May 1857, English East India Company faced a massive rebellion. In several places, sepoys, mutant beginning from merit and large number of people from different sections of society rose up in rebellion it is considered as the biggest armed resistance to colonial colonization in the 19th century from merit to delhi on 29th march 1857 mangal pande was hanged to death for attacking officers in barakpur Some sepoys of regiment Meerut refused to army 
drill using the new cartridge suspected of being coated with the fat of cows and pigs. On 9th May 1857, 85 sepoys were dismissed from services and sentenced to 10 years in jail for disobeying their officers. The soldiers released the imprisoned sepoys from Meerut jail on 10th May. The soldiers were determined to bring an end to their role in the country. The sepoys rode all night of 10th May and reached Delhi in the early hours next morning. Trimpet soldiers gathered in Red Fort demanding to meet Badsha. Bahadur Shah Safar accepted the demand and wrote letter to all the chiefs and rulers of the country to come forward and organize a confederacy of Indian state to fight Britishers. The Mughal dynasty had ruled over a very large part of the country. Small rulers and chieftains controlled different territories were threatened by expansion of British rule. The British threw that sorry, the British thought that the disturbance caused by an issue of cartridge would die down. But the entry entire situation changed dramatically by the decision of Bahadur Shah Safar. The rebellion spreads. The British were routed from Delhi and for almost a week there was no uprising. Regiments mutant and troops joined Nodal Point like Delhi, Kanpur and Lucknow. Nana Sahib, the adopted son of late Peshwa Bhaji Rao, proclaimed his Peshwa, gathered armed force and expelled the British garrison from the city. In Lucknow, Bridges Quadra proclaimed the new Nawab. In Chansi, Rani Lakshmi Bai joined the rebel Sipori and fought in British along with Tandia Topi, the general of Nana Sahib. In Mandla region, the Madhya Pradesh, Rani Avanti Bai Lodi of Ramgra raised and led an army against the British who had taken over the administration of her state. The British were defeated in a number of battles. A situation of whispered popular rebellion developed a region of Avadh in particular. Emergence of many new leaders, for example, Hamadullah Shah from Faizabad, Bakht Khan in Delhi, Khunwar Singh in Bihar. The company fights back. The company brought reinforcements for, from England passed new laws to easy convict the rebels. In September 1857, Delhi was recaptured and last Mughal emperor, Bahadur Shah Safar, was sentenced to life imprisonment. In March 1858, Lucknow was taken and Rani Lakshmi Bai was defeated and killed in June 1858. Rani Avanti Bai chose to emperor's death when surrounded by British on all sides. Tantia Tope was captured, tried and killed in April 1859. The defeats of rebel forces encouraged desertions. To win people loyalty, the British announced a reward for loyal landowners and landholders who will continue to enjoy traditional rights over their lands. If anyone who rebelled against the British surrendered themselves and if they had not killed any white people, they would remain safe and their rights to claim land would not be denied. Aftermath By the end of 1859, the British had regained control of the country. Some of the important changes that were introduced by British are mentioned here. First one, in 1858, a new act was passed at the transferred the power to East India Company to British Crown in order to ensure more responsible management of Indian affairs. A member of British cabinet was appointed Secretary of State for India and made responsible for all matters related to governance of India. He was given a council to advise him called India Council. 
the governor general of india was given the title of viceroy through these measures the british government accepted direct responsibility for ruling india second one all ruling chiefs were assured that their territory would never be annexed in future they were allowed to pass on their kingdom to their heirs including adopted sons the indian rulers were to hold their kingdom as subordinates of the british crown third one the proportion of indian soldiers in army were reduced and the number of european soldiers increased fourth one muslim land and property were con- confiscated on large scale and they were treated with suspicious and hostility fifth one the british decided to respect the customary religious and social practices of the people in india sixth and the last one policies were made to protect landlords and zamindars and give them security for the rights over their lands children here come to the end of this chapter and the explanation of the session will be held in online session thank you children